Google Slides is one of my very favorite resources to use for students to make interactive lessons instead of just plain old boring worksheets, but still things that they can engage in while they're either in class working on their computer or remotely. This is a lot more engaging than just the typical Google Slides or PowerPoint presentation. You're actually not even going to be using this in present mode. You're going to be having your students work on this in edit mode. So what we're going to do first is I want a blank canvas to be working on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to layout and I'm going to go to blank. I could just as easily have clicked on those text boxes and deleted them, just personal preference. Then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to slide and I'm going to go to edit master. So this is something until I had taken a course at a conference on this, I never would have stumbled across this. I don't think most people discover it by accident. And then here I'm on a blank one, but in case I want another blank slide elsewhere in my document, I need to make sure that I am working on a brand new blank slide, not the default blank slide. So to get a new slide, you just press Control M. So you see it takes me here. I'm going to come here. I'm going to delete this one. And then I'm going to come here and I am going to click text box. So you'll notice that you've got something different here that says insert placeholder. So placeholder means that it's a text box for the student, not for you. So you don't want to use those options. Use the text box at the top. And here I'm just going to make a box. I'm going to make it bold. So that's control B or you can click it right up here. I'm going to change my font to size 30. I'm going to say put a circle around the noun and a box around the verb. Now I'm going to come down here. I want another text box and here I'm going to put my sentence. And so now I'm going to change that font size again. The little dog ran quickly across the street. I've got my sentence here. So I put these here because I don't want my students to be able to accidentally move them, delete them, anything like that. Anything you don't want them to be able to move. So this is also a great opportunity. You could take maybe a map of Europe, or you could take a diagram of something, say a human body, and you want the students to label the different parts. So there's lots of different things you can do here. So you could put pictures in just as easily as I put in words. So you could either copy and paste it from somewhere or go to insert image. Either of those work. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on X and this is going to take me back to the main page that I had been on before. Then because I had chosen the layout of blank, I just click on layout and this is now one of my layouts. This does not carry across other Google Slides. So if you are going to be using, you're creating a template that you know you can use for lots of different things. Maybe you've got a generic character map or something like that. Um, you can just make a copy by going to control or right click and make a copy or click on it so it'll be the one that has the highlight around it and clicking control C. And then in another Google Docs or rather Google Slides presentation, you could just click over here and paste it again. So see here, now I have a second one. I don't really need them to do that same task on that same sentence over and over. So I'm going to change it. But you'll notice here, like I can't click on any of this. It's now a background image. So really one of the big issues when you're using text boxes with students is they can accidentally delete some words. They can move stuff around and then it gets more confusing. So this makes it much easier. Now what I have to do is I need to put my shapes in. So they're going to circle around the noun so that I know what size I need it to be. I'm just going to use my noun here. Now I'm going to need to edit this. So the first thing I need to do is I need this to be transparent. So 
So I click on this paint bucket up here. I'm going to click transparent. So now I can see the word dog through it. And then let's say I want to change the border color. So let's make it red so it's easier to see. And let's make that line a little bit thicker. So I just use the paint box, the pencil, and then this border weight that has kind of the three lines here. But I don't want to give my students the answer. So I can drag it down here. But you can also, so if you had a lot of things here, so maybe you had a map, you can drag these off to the side and then students can drag it on. They're in edit mode, so they're going to see it. So I can put it wherever. In this case, I'm just going to put it at the bottom of the screen. Okay, now I need to make a box that's going to fit around my verb. So I go back up to shape. And I've got street. So again, I need to make it transparent. I want to make my line, let's make this one a dark purple. And I want my border to be thicker. So you can use these little lines to line it up if you want. You don't have to, you can just have it anywhere here. I could put these off to the side and my student could drag them onto the screen. You could also have students make their own shapes if you wanted. For older students, that will work just fine, especially if it's pretty simple. But if you have, say, a lot of text boxes for labels, so the labels of countries, or if you have younger students who, this does take some manual dexterity, especially if they don't have a mouse, to be holding down the left click button and dragging this, that's going to be kind of complicated for them. So it's faster if you create whatever it is off to the side, and then your students are going to be able to go in and they're going to interact with this just like, just like you are. So they can't mess up your background, they can't move the words, delete anything, but they've got these different tools that they can drag and drop. It takes, they can fix it, so like you saw, I kind of, undershot where that went, just adjust it so that they can tell where it is.